Hello everyone and welcome back to more Animal Crossing. Uh, it's interesting seeing Hornsby here because I can't see his eyes at all past his snout. But anyway, <laughs> it's the 30th of May and I thought that today we could maybe do some bug catching and just do some general stuff around town. I don't think that there's anything special going on so it, that's, that's pretty much going to be it to be honest. But let's go ahead and get in there first. Thank you, Hornsby. Oh, and we should talk to some of the villagers as well because we haven't really talked to them in a while. Right, let's look at the notice board. Oh yeah, that's that pitfall I fell in, thanks to Lily. Gosh darn it. And we have some letters, probably... Uh... Yeah, probably all fossils. So we'll go donate those probably towards the end of the episode. I need to get rid of some of this stuff. Oh, uh, tin shirt. I guess let's wear this, because I know what it is. Yep, this is our clothing choice for the day. Get out of it, weed. Right, is there anyone new to talk to? Sprocket. Uh, I have no idea who Sprocket is, so I guess let's go say hi to Sprocket. I love that like, that name though. Such a good name. And we have an icy umbrella. Ooh, I like ice. Ice is cute. Okay, let's see what this umbrella looks like then. I may keep it. I have way too much paper now. Oh, that's adorable. I want to keep this umbrella. I need to get a... Uh, a wardrobe soon so I have more places to store stuff in my house. I mean there's nothing in my house so it doesn't really matter either way <laughs> but it would be nice. Oh hi Tutu, let's say hello to Tutu. What's going on Tutu? Oh wait don't tell me, are you Pepper? I mean is that your name or not Twinkles? <laughs> of course I didn't forget you silly Billy. I've talked to you like eight bazillion times. Actually, it's it's only been twice, I think. Anyway, what's up, Twinkles? I really want that butterfly. That's what's up. What's going on? Hold it, Buster. I need an answer and I need it now, Twinkles. Have you ever rented a fishing tourney? Uh, not yet. Oh. What a waste. You're totally missing out on a thrilling event, Twinkles. You ought to head down to the river and bone up on your fishing so you'll be ready for the, the tourney, Twinkles. I would, but I don't really have a rod. But it might be worth checking in with Nook just to see if he has any rods available. Gosh darn it. Be mine, butterfly! A clouded yellow butterfly, sweet! So that's our first bug catch of the series. Nice! Uh, I figured actually we should probably go see the house because it's been upgraded and we haven't seen the increase in size yet. Is this where Sprocket lives? Where's Sprocket? Oh, he's down a bit. Hi, Biff! Ooh, ooh, we should dig this up. Getting all kinds of distracted by all kinds of things. Right. You will be a mine, Fossil. Continuing on, let's actually go meet the new villager and then go to Nyx to see if he's selling a fishing rod. And walk all over those flowers and destroy them. Oh well. Uh, my bad, guys. My bad. Right, where is Sprocket? Is this Sprocket? He's not in right now. Oh! Oh, hello! Wow, you're interesting. Hey, what's up? And nice to meet you, Zort. Huh? What's that, Pepper? Oh, I gotcha. Pepper is your name. Now I follow. My name's Sprocket. It's a pleasure meeting you, Pepper. Well, you're definitely interesting and sort of cute, so I will allow you to remain here. You are now an honorary villager. Okay. I want to go see if Biff needs anything. We haven't talked to Biff in a while, so... Yes, everything is going smoothly. Okay, do you have anything you need doing? I need work. Oh, you can't think of anything. Oh well, it's nice seeing you, Biff. Right. Back to the house. 
I just want to show the difference in size because there's nothing in here still. It's the same. It's exactly the same as it has been, but we have more space now. And we have music, and that is the best thing ever. Okay. But let's head to Nook's. We'll see if he has any rad furniture going. Ooh, 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 ooh! I need that. I need that bug. Be my bug. Thank you. Right. I caught a Don a dragonfly. Don, I am good. Don tootin'. Okay. What have you for sale, Mr. Nook? Good to see you again. Uh, it's great. Um, oh yeah, he's going to tell us about our new debt that we owe him. Must be nice having such spacious living quarters. A real step up from your former lodgings. Hmm. Now then, we come to the thorny issue of the bill. Remodelling isn't exactly cheap, as you know. Oh, and we had that dry rot issue, and there was that mammal strike. It comes to a total of 148,000 bells. Wow, that's pretty hiked up from the last time. Little pricey, I know, but that's the market. Oh, but don't worry about paying me immediately. You can continue to pay it off through the post office like before. It's no problem. Debt builds character, hmm? You can take your time paying it off too. I won't go breathing down your neck or anything. Oh, look forward to doing business with you again soon. Yes, I do hope so. Oh, so we have to pay off 148,000 bells. That kind of sucks. I wonder what uh, wallpaper and... Oh, a groovy wall? Let me see it. It's okay. I don't know if I would, I would pay that much money for it, but I feel like I need a new floor and a new <laughs> wallpaper. Oh, blue. Let me see it. Yes, I want this. I do want this. All right. I'm going to have an entirely blue house. Right. Well, he doesn't... Oh, okay. I'm going to have a single raffle ticket. Somehow I doubt that, uh, you know. Oh, I should sell some stuff, actually. I'd like to sell. Uh, I guess I'll get rid of some of these shirts. I've already worn pink tartan. I don't have any storage space. So there's no point in me keeping a lot of this stuff. Uh... Keep the blue flooring, get rid of you, and I'll get rid of this single paper because it's just taking up space. So, oh, blimey. Bums. Well, that was a waste of time now, wasn't it? Right, get out of my inventory. Oh, no, I don't want to sell the blue flooring. Just those things. Yes. I will sell. No, actually, I kind of like this shirt over here. I'm going to buy this shirt. Get out of my way. I want this shirt. A loud line shirt. It's the height of fashion. Also claims Fauna magazine. Uh, I'll just... Oh, I have to try it on first. I like it. I, I do. Uh, I'll buy it. I kind of want to help Nook out as well. I haven't bought hardly anything from him and I'm definitely not gonna have enough raffle tickets for tomorrow so we might have to miss the first raffle unfortunately but next month I'll make sure to buy more stuff to help him out and hopefully get his shop upgraded soon but no fishing pole unfortunately so we might not even be able to take part in the fishing tourney tourney whatever uh, I, want this, I want this butterfly come to me Thank you. I've seen a lot of these around lately. That would be why it's common. Right. So, I guess we should go see Copper, see if there's anything going on in town. Kind of want to see Mitzi as well, because we haven't seen her in a while. Ooh. I want it! I want it! <laughs> Oh, a common dragonfly. That's a lot of bugs. Oh, and she clapped me. How sweet. How are you doing, Anakoti? Ah, konnichiwa. Yes. You're brilliant. You know how to say hello. Okay. Uh, can I help out with anything? Uh-huh, I do have something. 
No, I'm lying. I don't. I'm sorry, but I don't. Sorry about lying too, Canoli. Sorry. That's okay. It's a good thing I like you, otherwise I'd hit you with my net. No, I wouldn't do that. That's mean. It's animal cruelty. Don't hit animals with nets, guys. That's a bad. Mitzi, hello! Nice afternoon, isn't it, Pepper? Let's see, right now it's one o'clock, right? Hee <laughs> hee you silly old goose. Did you maybe oversleep? That's not healthy, you know. You should wake up at a more reasonable hour, Mew. I'll have you know I've been awake for a while. So you must have had some reason for coming to see me, right, Mew? Uh, do you have anything you need doing? There's nothing that I can think of. I'm pretty much bored to tears, Mew. If I even had a ball to play with, I'd be worlds happier. Oh, uh, okay, I'm guessing she wants me to kick the ball over here, but I'm not going to do that because that is just a pain in the butt. I used to try that all the time when I was younger and kicked it in the river every single time, so I'm not even going to attempt to mess around with the ball today. Oh, let's go talk to Olivia. She just went inside, I think. I think, I feel like we've been neglecting our villagers a fair amount. I'm terribly busy, you know, Purr. Hold on a moment, it's Pepper. I just assumed someone had once again come into my home to flirt or ask a favour. I don't know what it is about me, but I seem to be just as popular with boys and girls. It's madness. Sometimes it's almost too much for a girl to bear, you know, Purr. By the by, did you need something? Uh, do you need anything? I was wondering if there's any chance you could go catch a fish for little old me? Baby, get me a fish, that's what my boyfriend told me this morning. Talk about rude. Honestly, if he's the one who likes fish, why am I the one who has to catch them? That makes no sense. It's not that I hate fishing. It's a decent activity. I just don't like doing it for someone else. That's why I was hoping you could go catch a fish for me, Pepper. I'd be ever so grateful. You know where to find me, Purr. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a fishing rod, so you're just going to have to deal with that yourself. I apologise deeply, but... I will be of no assistance to you. Carrying on, I guess we're gonna go... Uh, we're nearly there. To the police station. Hi, Huck. I'm not really that bothered about talking to you, unfortunately. I just want to see if there's any goings on. Good day to you. You ask about goings on? Well, in today's mail, the police station received something from Sahara, the carpet trader. It was an application for permission to operate as a door-to-door -door marketer. It seemed to be in order. This particular application requested the permit for the 1st of June. It was summarily approved. Okay, so on the 1st of June, we will have Sahara coming into town. So, I guess I will show her off as well. Oh, uh, sure, yes. Every item here is lost. I mean, we don't know who owns them. The items. You can take anything, I think. Uh, what do we have? Just paper? Uh, I don't know if I want to take that just now because I don't really have a lot of space in my inventory. Especially not for more paper. I've got eight, eight bits of paper. I don't really need any more right now. Okay. Let's get rid of all of this grass. I guess I'll catch this butterfly. Or not just to sell it. Make some extra moolah. Ah. Nah, we'll release it. Don't have any room for it. I guess I should go put that carpet down. That's taking up space now. If I keep hold of that carpet, I can use it for Sahara. So I'll probably do that. I, I enjoy the blue carpet much more than the Dinatar. I'm not going to lie. But I guess let's go donate some things to the museum. Oh, oh, oh no, okay, yeah, I don't have enough space, I can't just randomly catch a dragonfly. Let's clear up some space by donating some things. Uh, I will donate whatsoever, whatever's in these letters once I'm able to get uh, all of these bugs out of my inventory. Ah, who? yes, indeed, that's a yellow butterfly, if I'm not utterly mistaken. No, no, that's not necessary. Please, I must insist we leave it in the container. Protocols, you see, eh, what? I have to say that I am not overly fond of insects. I quite simply do not like touching them. Blech. There's an old saying among some of my contemporaries, butterflies are beautiful, yet moths are monstrous. Well, if you were to ask me, I'd say they're all the same, by which I mean disgusting. Truly horrific, what what? 
Pepper, have you ever peered closely into a dragonfly's eyes? Blech. Ghastly, really. Oh, but I digress. So yes, unfortunately it seems that Blathers does not really say much about bugs because he doesn't really appear to like them very much. But we do have some more fossils to donate. Unfortunately they're all pieces of skeletons so he won't say anything about those either. But we can go ahead and donate them. We have the Tricera tail, the Tricera skull and the Apata tail. So that might be the completion of the Triceratops at least. Well now, if I'm not mistaken, I do believe this means Triceratops is complete. Who we? Uh, did I just say who we? Ugh, how terribly embarrassing. I sound like some blithering idiot. Let's move on, shall we? Here now, where to begin? Triceratops, yes. A member of the Ornithischian Order, this great beast flourished in the late Cretaceous period. It was a huge three-horned plant eater and grew up to 30 feet in length. That's nine meters, truly remarkable. Triceratops is easily recognised by its distinctive trio of horns and of course its parrot-like beak. Oh, and one mustn't forget the solid neck frill which provided it with fortification against giant predators. Triceratops was quite formidable indeed. In fact, it was one of the very last dinosaurs to suffer extinction. Oh dear, oh good gracious, please, please forgive me. I tend to get a bit carried away. Dinosaurs, you know. You have our deepest, most profound gratitude. Okay, and that's all of my donations for today at least. But let's go ahead and see the Triceratops fossil because we have completed it. Fantastic. Where is it? It's up here, isn't it? Wowie. Just look at that. Isn't it impressive? Can't wait for us to finish some more fossils, I guess. It looks like the most complete, apart from the Triceratops, is the Apatosaurus. So hopefully we all get the skull sometime soon. Oh, and we should check on the bugs as well. So we do have some bugs fluttering around. Thankfully I, I, I quite like dragonflies and butterflies, so uh, right now it's lovely in there. Actually there aren't many insects that I really dislike. I'm not scared of spiders or anything, so... I guess I don't like things crawling on me, but that's kind of different if you ask me. Oh, oh blimey. Can't even grab a shovel. Right, give me this. Give me this. Ugh! I want this! No! <laughs> I'm so bad. Give me this fossil. Thank you. I'd really like to help a villager as the last thing we do this episode. How about you, Sprocket? Uh, do you have any jobs for me to do? Do you know how to catch bugs? Oh, I do! Let me tell you something, I don't trust someone who can't keep and catch a bug. It's against my principles. I don't care what kind of bug you get, just go catch one and show it to me. Then I'll think about whether or not I can trust you to work for me, Zort. I can do that, I can catch a bug. I have a net. And then Sprocket will trust me, apparently. Oh, Opal, get away from me. Horrible, horrible animal. And as soon as uh, somebody asks me to catch a bug, I can't find any. I'm so bad at it in this game. So bad at the bug catching. There we go. Right, let's head back then. Show Sprocket our good work. I like that roof. That is a nice roof. Okay. Here we go, Sprocket. A hearty good afternoon to you. I'll say howdy just as often as you like, sort. Uh, I caught a bug. Here you go, sir. Did you catch this common dragonfly yourself? I see. I guess that means you really do know how to catch bugs. I shouldn't have doubted you. I guess I owe you an apology, sort. A cabin bed. I guarantee it'll turn up the coolness factor over at your place, sort. Really? You mean I can have somewhere to sleep? But next time, see about catching something that looks really cool, Zort. Dragonflies look cool. Oh, he has some high standards. I guess let's go put this cabin bed in my house. I'll finally have so much to rest at night. And we've got to put down the blue flooring as well. No, I don't want to talk to you yet. Go away. I need to get into my house. 
need to check my new things. Okay. I will spread this on the floor. That is much nicer. It's a bit moodier, I suppose, but much nicer. Okay. And then I will drop this. Not too shabby, if you ask me. I'm going to pop this by the window. Fabulous. Okay. <laughs> we have a bit more furniture now than we did before. So I'm going to drop some of these shirts as well, because uh, you don't want to carry them around. And this matches the room. So uh, <laughs> there is that. Right, let's have them at this angle. And I guess I'll leave the tin shirt in here as well. I can't? Well, be that way then. Just drop it in this corner instead. Just don't want to carry it around with me. I'm not going to wear it, but it's rare, so I don't really want to get rid of it either. There we go. We have some shirts displayed. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to quickly go uh, off screen deliver some letters and then we will end the video and there we are guys i'm going to end the video here if you enjoyed then don't forget to leave a like and if you would like to see more then go ahead and subscribe and until next time guys goodbye